Hey guys, it's me, Vix123, with some Team Combat Axe gameplay on the slums. This was a pretty interesting game. I think about two players on the enemy team were absolutely clueless. They didn't know what they were doing. They couldn't shoot straight. They just got confused when we ran up to them with stunts and combat axes. And then the other four guys were uh, pretty irritating to play against. They were just, uh, they knew what they were doing. This right shield guy was just irritating. We had to team up on him every time. But uh, anyway, that is the gameplay. Um, what is up with me at the moment? Well... Two days ago, um, the day before yesterday, I finished school. Well, I say finished school, I had my last ever lesson. And I've got my exams in one month, and then I'm done. I never have to go through any of that again. And it's an, it's an interesting one, because it's again, it's one of those situations where it's only when uh, it stops happening that you realise, you begin to appreciate it. It's, it's one of those things. And, you know, school can a lot of the time be really irritating. Lessons just feels like sometimes, you know, wasted time. Sometimes things you don't want to be doing rather than just be playing games or doing stuff with friends. But actually, at the same time, it's something quite enjoyable just within the whole idea of being in school. You know, so many people around, um, you know, like-minded people doing the same kind of stuff. And it's actually something that I, I think, at the moment, I think, like, oh, well, I'm, I'm going to miss that. It was kind of good. But actually, in hindsight, I'm probably not, because there's a lot more to do, and change is always good. Although the idea of change is kind of scary, it's always good to get onto different things, and I'm really looking forward to just having a year to uh, get out into the world, um, use my YouTube channel as a mechanism for travelling to different events and that kind of stuff. Um, I want to... The events I want to go to later this year are Gamescom, possibly PAX Prime, and possibly Minecon, just uh, to uh, think about maybe not the uh, second two because America is pretty far away and it's a lot of effort to get there. But, um, oh, then there's Eurogamer as well. So Eurogamer, Gamescom are definitely ones that I'm going to be going to, hopefully getting some hands-on time with the new consoles, new games, Battlefield 4, Call of Duty Ghosts, all that kind of stuff. It's going to be really interesting the way all of that goes down with the new consoles. Because at the moment, it's a little bit of a grey area, just how it's all going to be. I mean, we'll find out a lot more at E3 in about two weeks. But there'll still be stuff to uh, be discovered. And another thing that's interesting is um, with the original console releases, they actually released earlier in America than they did in the UK. I think it was a month earlier. Um, well, in America than in Europe. And if that happens, I'm not going to be happy about that. I'd probably end up going to uh, stay in America for a while uh, with a couple of other UK guys. I know quite a lot of people living out in America, um, in LA. That would be that would be quite cool to do. I think that's another reason I'm really looking forward to the gap here. It just gives me freedom like I've never had before. You know, usually just like anything more than a week away is is not, not possible. Um, but I could go away for as long as I want to, do as much travelling as I want. So yeah, that should be good. And another thing I'm really looking forward to is just having more time to spend making YouTube videos because I am going to have, you know, so many extra hours a day. I'm not going to know what to do with myself, but that's a good thing because it means I'm going to be able to make, you know, more videos, more big projects as it were, you know, things that um, aren't just standard videos. And also another thing I'm really looking forward to is just getting involved in other games. I mean, I play a few other games on my second channel, um, but I'm just going to have so much more time to experiment with different stuff, with all the new games coming out. We're going to have GTA 5, we're going to have Destiny, we're going to have Call of Duty Ghost, we're going to have Battlefield 4. So many things, and I'm sure there are loads of others that I won't even, won't even know about yet, but are going to be really good games. So, I'll have more time to experiment with games, because, uh, recently I have been quite close-minded, close-minded, sorry, with the games that I play, just because, um, I want to make entertaining videos. And, you know, when it comes to a new game, there's a whole new learning curve to go through, getting better at the game before, like I said in my previous video, before you can go out and produce entertaining content on them. So there's all of that I'll be able to go through with different games, just things will be a lot more chilled out. It's kind of the light at the end of the tunnel. I mean, school, I've been at school for, I've been at secondary school for seven years, at school in total for, I think it must be like 12 years, 12, 13 years. It'll be 12 years. And, uh... Yeah, that's a really, really long time. But what about you guys? What are you up to? Are you a, you know, high school, middle school, preschool, secondary school, primary school, university, college? I don't know. I don't understand why the US and the UK have different words for every single type of school there is. I guess the schooling systems are different. So it makes sense. But I'm getting to grips 
with the uh, US way of doing things. Anyway, that was some Team Combat Axe gameplay. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, feel free to leave a like rating. Check out some more Team Combat Axe episodes by clicking the links on screen. Also, feel free to head over to my second channel, linked in the description, and check out some videos on that channel.